Uh, he's here, Travis Pastrana. How did you get here, Travis? Oh, I flew. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, from from there to here to the studio. Oh, the studio. No, I just uh, well, it's it's actually awesome because we have so many friends up here. Just uh, you know, staying with some friends right in yeah. town, and uh, it's it's been just a long road from Utah to get back. To Salt Lake. I mean, hitting the World Games here is uh, pretty much a dream come true. I was hoping you'd tell me you'd like ridden a motorcycle uh, all the <laughs> way from wherever you were. Yeah, no, nah, well, not not quite. I don't yeah. know. So gas expensive in those, you know, like so jet fuel. The Nitro Circus. How is this different? Well, Nitro, well the World Games. Yeah. You so know. Nitro Circus. Basically, the last couple of years, you've been traveling around the world, having a lot of fun, really pushing the envelope on ramp design. On you know, we can't come with the same show time and time again. So every time we go to a new place, we're like, all right, we're building the ramps bigger. You know, we had a uh, basically guys like Josh Sheehan doing triple backflips in my backyard, and then you look at X Games, you know, our biggest event, and we're seeing that you know only one guy's doing a, a double backflip. You know, we're like, you know what? We need to do an event that's big air. This isn't about who can point your toes, who can, mm -hmm. you know, land just the most perfect or do the most technical tricks. We want to see the biggest tricks done on a national, um, you know, national platform. And this is why we came up with World Games. Now, um, Nitro Circus, Nitro World Games. Uh, you, you you started that whole thing, right? Well, it actually started right here in uh, Salt Lake with yeah. Greg Godfrey, a film producer. That's right. He came to me and said, look, um, you know, he was actually working as a key grip on Touched by an Angel. <laughs> uh, he's like, look, I want to get back into motocross. I, he was skiing, mountain biking, the whole the Utah spirit. He's like, I want to get outside, do that more stuff. And uh, you know, he had a freestyle motocross park at Godfrey Trucking, which is right down the road. He's oh, like, but yeah. I, I can't get any of the top guys. So at the time, I was 16 years old, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> Let let's go. Let's let's get these guys. Start let's have some fun. Yeah. And uh, when I was eighteen, learned Jack Guthrie uh, taught me how to skydive down the road, and we went, took the the band down, and uh, ended up backflipping into the Grand Canyon with a parachute. And yeah, it's kind of the that. start of Nitro Circus. Um, now Nitro World Games. This is uh, hand picked athletes who are participating, but there's also an open. Uh, people can come and try and qualify, right? How does that work? One of the most interesting things is as we travel with the, the Nitro Circus around the world, we try to pull in some local talent. And a lot of times we notice that, you know, maybe guys that didn't have the, the money to fly around or to, to get to the big events or didn't have the sponsorship, um, they were crushing it and being the most amazing people that we've ever had on the show. So we said, okay, look, we're opening this world games, this world championship event up to where, you know, we're going to pick 10 of the guys that we know are the best in the world um, to make sure that we have, you know, the top guys. But we're also going to open it up to anyone can qualify. Basically, send in a resume. You have to have uh, two people other than your mom and dad uh, <laughs> <laughs> vouch for you that, you know, you're not going to go out and kill yourself. And then, you know, we qualified those guys down to six. So we've got one of the guys, uh, Calvalone, basically in freestyle motocross. He flew in from just outside of South Africa, oh. um, borrowed a bike, qualifies six at the qualifier and basically shows up here and is like, you know what? I've spent my last time. I've been living on couches, but I know I can compete at the world championship level. He goes, I've been practicing in my backyard since I was three years old. I can do this. That's and kind of the spirit of Nitro Circus is going back and letting those kind of people come yeah, in. That's well, great. Without it. And it's, it's a, so to have a world championship, I'm like, you have to know that you are the best in the world and to give everyone an opportunity. So this is, it's a really cool format and they're still qualifying down. So I'm not sure if he'll make it in to the final eight. So mm -hmm. on Saturday, so tomorrow we'll have qualifying, um, you know, to get from 16 to eight in all these divisions. And the final eight is all you're going to see. So this is made for the guys like me, the ADHD audience, that it is a world championship event with the best in the world. But at the end of the day, um, you're going to see seven gold medals handed out over three hours so it, it's going to be pretty wild mm. it's huge ramp i saw you had a little video on your phone that ramp in rice Eccles stadium is huge it's from one end to the other it goes well, the entire length of the stadium to fill up a football field i was like man this is this looks like a, a perfect place but is it going to look too small well these are the biggest ramps that we've ever had in an action sports event it's all the stuff we've been working on over the last 10 years in nitro circus um so yesterday we tested out our big ramp that we've actually never had the landing we've just been going to airbags so far for even oh, really? the qualifying <laughs> oh. and um these guys hit it and to warm up three of the guys did double backflips as their first jump warm-up jump one of the guys, they're doing front flips, double front flips. The the stuff that is going to be tried, can't guarantee you what's going to be landed, but the stuff that's going to be tried out there is so next level. To win any of these contests, I mean, this is the Big Air Olympics of action sports. So wow. it's uh, it's we got we got uh, bicycles. What else we got? We got is Tony yeah. Hawk going to be there? Tony Hawk is is there, but with me, we're uh, we're the older guys now. I mean, uh, we'll be announcing uh, along with Todd Richards. So um, this will actually be live on NBC as well. But the the coolest part about this is. Everyone from T.J. Lavin, Tony Hawk, uh, myself, uh, Todd Richards, 
we're hosting a live event on NBC, and we've never hosted anything in our lives. We've been color commentator a couple of times, but this is an event where the best in the world that aren't riding are going to be judging. The best in the world are going to be basically announcing and broadcasting. This is going to be the most real action sports event ever to be held, and uh, definitely proud to be a part of it. There's mm. still tickets available, so yeah. you could be part of this very first ever World Games. That's great. So uh, how do you get tickets to this uh, thing? It's, uh, it's, uh, you're going to see qualifying tomorrow. Well, actually, um, the qual- qualifying uh, we're going to do, I mean, you can come up, I, I think, and watch qualifying, but that's not a, you know, the, the big event is definitely mm-hmm. going to be Saturday. Saturday. It's going to start uh, around 5 p.m. I'd get up there and mm-hmm. uh, 5 till 8 p.m. It's going to be uh, pretty wild. So go to Rice Eccles Stadium, go to the ticket box there or NitroCircus.com uh, to get some tickets for I mean, this thing. I mean, right. the ramps are gigantic mm-hmm. they, and some go up into this up into the crowd <laughs> yeah well not hopefully not into the crowd no, you but know yeah, what i mean definitely into the seats <laughs> into, man. into the these, seats these guys on the non-motorized equipment they got to get speed for basically the biggest ramps that have ever been held um you know for a contest on so, the bmx so. on the bmx scooters inline skates um mm-hmm. you know nitro has always been about who's doing the biggest stuff who's the most passionate so everyone's like oh why do you guys have scooters i'm like well honestly because they're the most passionate most up and coming and honestly some of the biggest tricks that you'll see done out there are on scooters and you know as much as the core skate audience is like oh that's not cool i'm like but it's awesome yeah mm. it really is it's incredible to see and scooters he means like the razor type uh yeah, uh, scooters, not little tiny Vespas and stuff. Like that. <laughs> uh, that would be cool. We should have scooters. Too. You're young. Go to, <laughs> to nitroworldgames.com.